morning guys and welcome to Safe by the Tower. This morning I just want to run you through my top 10 products for baby weaning. So those that are still sort of researching, baby led weaning is where you basically let the baby feed themselves. So you'll cut pieces of food up, give them to the baby and let them feed themselves. Traditional weaning it tends to be more on the puree side of things. So you will puree food up. So you need to get yourself a food processor or a blender or something like that. You then liquidise any food and then basically you increase the texture of that food as your time goes on. There's, there's nothing wrong with it either. They'll both produce like healthy adults. So do not worry which route you go down. We've gone down the traditional weaning route. So that means that we do a lot of puree stuff. We had a bit of a scare actually. Um, they put me off baby led weaning. I, I mean, baby led weaning works for a lot of people, but for us, I'm a little bit scared to try it. So we've gone down the traditional route for that particular reason. It's a bit overwhelming to be honest. There's so many products, on, um, so I hope that these tips help narrow down the market. And so anyway, let's begin with my top 10 products. I hope you find them useful. Let me know if any of yours differ or if you use the same. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So the very first thing that you will need when you start your weaning journey is the all important feeding chip. Um, you can get the traditional ones, which are, you know, the ones that are just standing and you sit at the table next to you. We have gone with the Ingenuity chair. So the great thing about the Ingenuity chair is I have a chair that serves both purposes. I can feed Alicia on the floor, I can strap it to a chair, and I plan to do a full review of this Ingenuity chair, so I will link to that once I've got that. If I need to take it out anywhere, I can. I can easily put this in my car boot, and we have the smallest boot in the world. So it has straps on the back, which basically allow you to put this around the back of the in a hidden compartment at the bottom here. It's got some other straps which you basically can put around the base of the chair. It's with a foam insert, so you see these blue ones. Um, they also do this in grey, we've gone for this because I quite like a bright colour. When they're a bit smaller, they need the extra space. It's got a seat belt that basically you strap them in. As they get bigger, then this won't fit. So the great thing about this chair is you then simply just take off the foam inserts. Yeah. And the great thing about this without the foam is it's very easy to clean, it's just plastic. So you can wipe it with a wipe. And as you'll see when you're feeding the little one, babies are very, very messy. So this chair will end up covered. You want a chair that's easy to clean. Do not go for one of these fancy ones. You'll have to wash it. And to be honest, when you're weaning three times a day, you can't wash it every time. So your baby's gonna be sitting in some stinky fabric just not worth it there's places that the food can hide this doesn't really have much that the food can go down into so really good it also comes with a tray so the tray then just simply clicks in and there you have the chair so 100% recommend this ingenuity chair so that's product number one product number two we have these bowls so again babies have a tendency to be really really messy about these bowls is they have a little suction on the bottom and there are many brands out there that will have this in the market so it's up to you which one you go with we've gone with it's a brand called munchkin so yeah it's really cute got a little heart in the middle really nice colors i wish adult bowls were this exciting my bowl is plain white it comes in a set of three different sizes they just stack really easily in my cupboard they don't take up much space at all you just literally stack them on top of each other like so really good bowls um, as i said the suction is really important on any of your baby product babies like to try and pick everything up so having a suction on the bowl is just a lifesaver from ending up with all sorts of rubbish on the floor so that's product number two um product number three again from munchkin we have our spoons We've got four spoons the good thing about these and i'll do a test now just to show you um is that when food is too hot they go white so you don't want to be giving your baby really hot food right so just use a spoon that has that functionality to tell you the food is too hot for baby next one i have and this is one for the baby led weaning this is a plate um they're done by tiny dining they also do ones of these by bamboo bamboo but bamboo bamboos are so much more expensive. These come from ring kit and they're really, really useful. Again, suction on the bottom, which is great. And this, they come in different colors, so we have two. They're made of like a bamboo material, so they don't really stain. The only thing with the bamboo bamboo ones is that they they do have like really cute designs, like bunny rabbits and really fun things. 
So when you start getting into baby led weaning, if you go down that route, what you'll see is there are a lot of Instagram mums. They have taken picture upon picture of them using this plate. These plates are really great in terms of segmenting baby's foods out um, and then being able to select that. They can quite easily grasp it. It's quite easy for them to pick it up. Do check out Instagram though on how these mums have like taken these amazing pictures. I don't know how they find time to do this. They create such art from their like from their foods, it's just ridiculous. Like, I just slap it on the plate. Right, product number five. This is down the um, traditional weaning room. Baby led weaning, you might not use this so much, so you can discard this if you're a baby led weaning. This is an ice cube tray. Now you can use a traditional ice cube tray, um, and the reason you'll use this is when you make purees, you want to um, make a batch and then freeze it. It's really good to have it handy, you just then, once you want to reuse it, you just pop it out, heat it up in a warm pan of water. Um, I usually just put it in a bowl over warm water, let it melt. Or you can defrost it earlier and heat it up directly in the pan. But the advantage of these is they're made from like a silicone base, as you can see. And what that means is when you have ice creams, you can just pop it out. I don't know if you've used like traditional ice cubes, but actually it's quite hard to get them out of trays sometimes. So these are really useful. Um, you just pop it in your freezer and when you want to, you can just pop it into food bags and put it in, label it, have a really nice organized fridge. I mean, that's what I'd ideally do, but again, I'm not as organized as I used to be. So that is product number five. Product number six. Now, you should be giving your baby a little bit of water with every meal. Also, I'm being told by everyone. This product again is by Munchkin. I mean, I, I sound like I'm just pitching Munchkin, but they do really good stuff, so it's worth buying. Um, so this is another product by Munchkin. You can always see by, where is the camera? There, by their little hearts, pretty cute. The good thing about this is, as I said, babies like to try and make as much mess as possible because, I mean, you don't have enough things to do already, right? But baby wants to give you more things to do. So this product is really good in that this is filled with water and it's not leaking. I can shake it, I can turn it upside down. And the reason I can do that um, is it's got a really cool mechanism. So when the baby presses on it, I'm not gonna do this because I don't wanna make a mess. When the baby presses on it, you see it's opening up. It's opening up so there's little holes. Then the water will come out. If the baby isn't pressing on it, no water's gonna come out. And the good thing about this as well is it teaches them how to use uh, like adult type cups. So they do this in like the younger ages. So this is the younger version because it's got the handles here. They also do an older version. So it's good for like dressing from one stage to the next. So really good cup. And again, they do it in different colors. We've gone with blue. Right. So that is product number six. So product number seven. These aren't in order, by the way. I'm just telling you my top 10. Um, so here is the number seven is a bibadoo. So I would recommend that you at least get two, one or two of these. Um, they're really good quality. They come with a strap at the bottom which you can wrap around the bottom of the chair which means that you get less spillages. They cut, they're very um, good for multiple sizes so they have lots of uses whereas a lot of other bibs are just one size so you get these poppers on the arm which basically mean you can shorten the arm so it means that your baby's not engulfed in a clothes that's too big where you're trying to save money and you will try to save as much money as possible. It also on the back has like different velcro on different sizes. Again, most of the cheaper bibs will just have one size Velcro. You need to get a bib. I mean, the amount of food that ends up on this bib every single feed. That's why I bought so many. Um, but if you don't, you're gonna stain a lot of your clothes. And I'd rather stain a bib than I would some expensive dress that I bought from Monsi. This is by Newbie. So these are ice lolly molds. You can see there's a hole here. So you just put in whatever you want. Um, they then have this little sticky here. You've got four lollies here. You literally just fill it with food and you can fill it with anything. So people fill it with breast milk. They fill it with little pouches that they do. Um, you can fill it, put that in it. You can put your purees in it. You can make whatever you want, like you would with a nice lolly to be honest. And you just put them in your freezer. You then, when you want to give it to your baby, you just pop it out and it will have said lovely contents on it. So this is what we're going to use to give Alicia her first. Um, frozen ice all these hopefully um, later down the line so it'll be quite exciting but yeah these are really great um, they're really well rated on Amazon and everywhere else um, so I'll put a link to these and these are great for teething so when babies are teething they want something that's going to soothe them so these 
next things are by baby more they're not by munchkin that's the first i've got something that's not by munchkin amazing um but these are great for like storing baby food so these are great for anything if you're baby led weaning or traditional weaning these are really good so they're little plastic pops um with really colorful lids this is like a pinky salmon color a like sky blue duck egg blue um yellow what other colors have we got this one here teal and this one here um so you come in a pack of six they're really good if you just want like pots of food to take on the go so if you're baby led weaning these would be really useful so you could pop in some little bits of fruit um things like that if you're traditional weaning i found it's really good again for freezing things um in comparison these are really great for like measuring out how many you should have so usually she has about two to three ice cubes per one um, but if you want to just make a bigger batch and you know how much they're eating you can put them straight into this and then my final product is another bowl you can guess who they're by they're by munchkin um so they come in a set of three so you've got three brightly colored bowls um and they've got a lovely little heart in the middle again but the good thing about this set is like the spoons if you put something too hot in it this one will change color So they are my top 10 products if you're going to buy any um, for weaning. As I said, I know what you actually need. Go on Mumsnet. I spend so much time on Mumsnet just querying and thinking, do I need this? Like, I've got lists of people telling me online, you need this, you need this, you need this. Do you? No. Listen to what a few other mums are saying. Make your own opinions and just go from there. And yeah, so I, I wish you all the best with your weaning journey. Um, I hope this has been useful and not just me rambling about some bowl. So yeah, thanks for watching and let me know in the comments anything additional that you'd like. If you're, if there's something that you know you found really useful. As I said, I am a first time mum, so I'm still learning. So always willing to like listen to what other people have to say if you enjoyed. And if you did enjoy and you'd like to watch more of this stuff, then please subscribe. I'd be ever so thankful like just to know that I'm helping someone um, with their journey in motherhood. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks.